Hi everyone. I'm making this video just to give you an overview of GimKit and uh, how it works. GimKit is like Kahoot and Quizlet and Quizzes and all of those, you know, review game softwares. Uh, it's a website that lets you do a review game just like those, but the games themselves are a little bit different. They're they're very fun. Uh, they're very neat. It's a big hit in class. So if you're not familiar with it, I just want to give you a taste of it here, and then you can decide with whether or not it's uh, it's right for you. So like I said, I'm not going to go over every little thing, but uh, you would make a review game, right? You would make uh, – they call them kits. That's what they call their, their games. You would make one – with whatever you wanted to go over you make them with this little button right here so i'll use just for the purposes of this this ancient greece review so you know there's a bunch of questions here each one of them for mine is a multiple choice question so i already have these made and this is the one that i'll show you if i was going to play this in class i would click over here on play and then this would come up now GimKit lets you customize a bunch of different things, but for right now, uh, for purposes of this recording, we'll just go with classic. This is nice when you're setting up these games. And again, think of it like a Kahoot, just with some extra bells and whistles. You can make it last, you know, however long you want, or you have a couple other modes you can use as well. If you've had the time, you can preload a class so that in the kids instead of writing their own name they just pick their name you know you could have i have second and fourth block already preloaded in here and in GimKit, instead of points they they call it money they call it cash so again for the purposes of this game i'll give the players uh a hundred bucks in starting cash so that i can show you what the players can do with it so just so you can see again an example of how this game works if you're going to do classic and not team mode or not humans versus zombies which is a new thing they just have for you know for the halloween season you know let's see you click here on continue let's uh give my uh, pretend players a second to join all right look at that so i've got my you know my class in the game now and then I, you know you just click over here to start it it has this music which you know the kids get really into but let's go ahead and turn that off for now and here i hope you can see this but in this other window you know this is what it looks like to them again very you know kahooty very quizzy you see the questions and you see uh the different answer choices the answer to this is the hellenistic era so i'll click that oh look at that i got a dollar but really where this game where this review game shines is here. Let me click another one so I can show you. Uh, it means that it was ruled by a few people. There we go. All right. Is this shop, right? You're not shopping with real money here, right? It's your fake money. I've got $103 up here. Normally I would just have three, but I started them off with extra because I wanted to show this to you. And with getting these questions correct, you can get these upgrades. And this is what the kids really enjoy. You know, you're interested in it for the review. They're interested in it for this. They can upgrade how much money they get per question, right? Right now they get, you know, this amount of money per question, but now they can get more if they get this upgrade. Or they can do a, you know, a streak bonus. So if I get up to here, then I get, you know, extra money for a streak or my money gets multiplied if I do that or I can get insurance in this game if you get a question wrong you get minus points or minus money but if you buy yourself insurance then if you get a question wrong it doesn't take the money away these little upgrades turn a review game right where they're just getting points for answering questions right into this uh, strategic uh, struggle where they're trying to figure out, well, is it better to get more money per question or to do this multiplier or to buy the insurance? All the while, while you're doing this, you have a leaderboard over here that is showing, you know, who's on top and the music is playing and the time is ticking down and it all leads to a very, you know, engaging, fun experience for them. 
and I haven't even shown you one of the one of the really fun parts. So here, let me go back here. So I'm I'm in the lead right now, which is not really fair because I'm all of these people. But I'm in the lead, and I'm trying to remember what Plato thought. And while I am doing that, while I'm doing that, uh, Kelly sees that I'm in the lead, so she goes ahead and uses her icer on me. Now, I can't answer any questions for 10 seconds, and then since this game is self-paced and the students do the questions on their own time, she can answer questions and get more money now, and then she can try and get past me. And there's a number of different things like that. If you if they're playing this game, and, and a lot of the students know this because they've played it before, uh, again, you have this money per question stuff over here, but they've also got down here the ability to buy um, the the blur, which blurs the screen of, of uh, an enemy. You can pick someone else in the class and you can blur their screen for a, a little bit of time, or you can ice their screen that uh, you know pauses them for a couple seconds. You can do a shield, you can buy a shield on yourself so that no one can ice you. So it's those little things that make, uh, you know, the whole experience again, pretty fun for them. It feels like playing a game, which they're used to, uh, this music that I turned off a while ago has been going the whole time, but there's, there's actually a thing they can buy. Look at this for $85. They can buy this and then they can change the music and it, it does nothing besides that. Uh, it doesn't give you any other points in the game. You're just spending money just so that you can change the music for, for everybody else. Silly things like that make the game fun and make it a pretty good experience. So I'll, I'll end this now just to show you. And again, you've seen that this kind of thing before in, you know, in cahoots and stuff like that. But those power-ups that I showed you here, let me turn these off. Those power-ups that I showed you, you also have when you play, when you're setting everything up in the Kahoot. Again, you can make it last 10 minutes. You can make it do five minutes. Uh, you can have it be a race. So the first student to reach a certain dollar amount uh, is the winner. Uh, also, if you're concerned about the power-ups, um, you can click, you see where here where it says clean power-ups only, uh, only allow power-ups that don't hurt other players. If you're concerned that they're going to get too aggressive or that they'll cry uh, if they're icing each other, you can turn that on. Um, so you can customize this to make it however you want it. You know, team options are sort of obvious. I looked at humans versus zombies earlier. It's it's basically a team mode. It just has spooky music. So that's just in a nutshell what GimKit is all about. You can, again, you can make it on whatever you want to make it on. You can share it with other people. You can look at reports uh, afterwards to see how your students did, what questions they got right, or wrong. Uh, there's even, I'm not sure how to get to it. Oh, here we go. Um, there's even this, you know, kit collab thing, which lets the students write questions and then send them to you. And if you approve them, you know, it's a way that the whole class together can make a GIM kit. Uh, it's cool. There's a lot of really neat options. It's a, it's a very fun tool, you know, for sometimes. Um, it's, a definitely a very nice alternative, again, at least occasionally, to the cahoots and the quizlets of the world. So if you have any other questions and, um, you know, you, you know how to get in touch with me. Uh, otherwise, see ya.